This is the Pod Cave Podcast. Here's Jason, Michelle, and Goose. Are we up? All right, man. We are back. Did we get the official nod from Stu? Are we up? Is this we're, a, we're there up we and go. going, we dude. One, two, we're at one, Tiffany's two. on Route Thumbs 46 up. in Pinebrook, my uh, my <laughs> restaurant. And uh, great food. Joe was uh, who's the GM here. It was, it was nice enough to go, nice enough to go and give us a, a table in my in my restaurant. And we got some people coming by. Guy crossing his arms over there. What's your name there, bud? You leaving? He got all scared. The guy. I don't know. <laughs> JC was looking at your ass, man. I don't know. Did you, did you, man, pretty, did you manscape? Did you manscape? He had a bag full of money. <laughs> You're all ready to go? Yeah. Came up here, man. I'm all cleaned up, brother. Stu yeah. manscaped. No dookie balls for me. Stu, uh, can you imagine? <laughs> so, no dookie Stu, stains. if you manscaped, that would have taken a while, buddy. I don't know. Look at this guy. My butt. The beer, I'm, 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 I'm in a movie. That's why I'm throwing the beer. Really? Okay. <laughs> what, what is it? Yeah, uh, Cocoon 3? You, you look like <laughs> Jeremiah Johnson. Your whole beard. <laughs> Every actor that wears a beard, though, is like, well, I'm, I'm doing Fuego a Fuego headphone yeah. cocoon. <laughs> you look like Santa, like you're getting ready to go and Jeremiah do Christmas Johnson. or carols or something. It's all white. scare the kids. Yeah. Movember. Movember's coming. Yeah, it is. Another two, four weeks. That's another thing you could say. Movember. So, we yeah. have, once again, Jason Cameron, myself, Tony Saragusa. Well, what's up, everybody? We and have... Go ahead. Go ahead yeah, no, hello. no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you were going to introduce we some have people. Rob Burnett. Say hello, Good Rob. Good evening, sir. Yeah, we're going to be controlling his mic a little more because uh, <laughs> yes. every time. No. But he's the, he's he's the best. He's the he's uh. He's probably the most one, one of the few. I'm about to kneel right now. You know, Rob. I played five years <laughs> with, the, with the Baltimore Ravens with Rob, and he was one of the more well endowed guys <laughs> that I showered with. <laughs> and uh, I just want to put that out there. He doesn't have a snorkel. He's uh, circumcised, right, Dad, uh, Rob? It's officially out there, Rob. And then oh, we also have I'm Michelle Serpico. Sure. Michelle. Hi, guys. Uh, Michelle's here. here. Listen, if you, if you find out where we're doing our podcast from <laughs> and you're a single dude, you want to come here. Michelle, is you are single, Michelle? Michelle, are you single? Yes. You might want to ask yes. her first Michelle before you kind of open it up to everybody in uh, the local area. Four <laughs> minutes ago, she just got rid of that her boyfriend. Yeah, yep. yeah, and it was about he four minutes ago. He ran out of here crying with his hair on fire. Michelle, yeah. nobody liked him. No, way. everyone literally Fuck hated him. him. Yeah. He's out. <laughs> He's out. And then we have our videographer, uh, Frank the Z Man Zombie. Uh, and then we also have our, our, our head of. Uh, DC's, our, Darren our, Caesar. I told you Rob's got to be controlled a little bit. <laughs> we have uh, Darren, who's uh, doing all our video. He's got the, the fish eye. Darren's over there. What's up? Get in front of the camera so people can see it, so they know what you look I like. Just wanted to make give sure. Give a glimpse, buddy. Got his fade. Just got his fade. Got his his name, you wouldn't, you hey, wouldn't Darren just got a fade put in. He's all sweet and <laughs> cut up. And stuff. He's a good-looking dude, man. He looks manscaped. Look yeah, at him. He looks pretty yeah. manscaped. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah. He's hot. <laughs> my guy. Stu's taking a picture. Yeah. Stu, you, uh, and then we got Stu, who I'm looks like uh, Chris Kringle. Later, I got it. Stu looks like Chris Kringle at the beginning stages, but he's in a movie. It was like Jeremiah Johnson yep, before he's the auditioning. shot him. Me and him are auditioning next week for the Chippin' Whales. <laughs> it looks like, what was, the, what was the Grizzly show with uh, Ben? What Grizzly was Adams? Grizzly Gen- Adams. Genital, Grizzly ben. Adams. <laughs> Genital Ben. Genital Ben. <laughs> Genital Ben. Yeah. yeah. Genital. You see the set he had on him? Okay. He's doing selfies. You know, so let's get the let, let's uh, let's start this off with the, uh, yeah. Michelle a little bit. So Michelle, you're single. I'm single. I mean, listen, you're a beautiful girl. How mm, old are you? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven years old. You're. I mean, guys, will you agree? M- Michelle's a ten. Thank Absolutely. You. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. Can't personality. You, have to ask. you know, she's smart. Everything like that. Uh, Tell what's it like out there in the dating? I mean, me, you know, we're all married. Me, Jason. Yeah. Um, we're old Rob, too. You know, we're, we're older guys. We never were in the in the, in the in the time of when you can go on the internet and you like get an internet date, and yeah. like all that dating thing. What, what's it like out there? Tell us. A bit. Well, I, I gotta say that I've never done that. Really scares me because I feel like guys that creeps. are yeah creeps already like me enough as it is. So I don't even know what I'm gonna find on that thing. So no, <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. I, I take that back. That was me. I should. We have one hundred percent. Nah, man, nah. You know, just no. I love, that's my boy Frank. Um, it's, when they're, it's when they're four hundred pounds. They say they have the athletic body. Yeah, yeah, and I'm that six would be weird. Two. But I have girlfriends that go on that stuff all the time, and no, nothing, no good date ever, or whatever, dr- meet for drinks well, ever lies. comes out of it. It's everybody all lies, and it's just like you never meet somebody. And it's like, oh, how'd you two meet? Oh, we met on Bumble. We met on Tinder. Like that's not a thing. That's never happened. Is well, there a, let me ask you this question: Is mm-hmm. there like a site out there, and, may, and I'm and I'm, maybe I'm naive that like. You go on, and like somebody comes to your house and like goes over all your stuff. Like, all right, you're six two. Listen, your belt is six two. You're five eight. 
Okay. Um, what's your job? Oh, I'm a, I'm a doctor. You're not a doctor. Okay. You're not a doctor. You know, like goes and like, you know, identifies all that stuff. There's something like out there that they say like takes an hour to fill out the application. It's E-harmony. Right? I th- yeah, it's like or, E-harmony yeah. or like want to match. How about the yeah, farmer guy? Get your Viagra Wait, I, I lied though. A dollar a pill. Shut up. <laughs> My friend met her her now husband Rosa on Match.com. Right erection. So one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead. What? Michelle my said. match.com, I do. My friend met her now husband on match.com. They actually just got married a couple weeks ago. Oh, so there's. there's so I think that's the one you're talking about where you have to, like, he she, he was a surgeon. He, ha- like, checked you and make sure that that's, like, actually what you do. I think. I'm pretty sure that's the way it really? works. Really? Yeah. So. Well, let's let's be real here because. Yeah. Uh, you so wait, if you say you have 12 armed robberies pending, a gun charge, and a dope charge, like, does that make me, like, appealing? <laughs> you probably get a lot of I dates. Appealing to you. <laughs> Rob, does that make me appealing? Is that your port- yeah, it does. Well, I get it like does. a match. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's girls out there who would like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll smack the shit out of you on your yeah. ass. No, no, listen, there should be a bondage site. We should open just farmers.com. Yeah. Farmers. There should be. Chris I have to I'm be a farmer. Farmers done. Like, you know, what do these people smell like? Horse, like cows? Or <laughs> Treehuggers.com. I think there's Tree-hugger. one. Awesome. There probably yeah. is one yeah. like that. I feel like there's one for everything. Isn't Tinder? That, Tinder's all about just hooking up. It is all about hooking up, yeah. <laughs> and then, Tree-hugger. like, girls think they're going to meet a dude on right, Bumble. I'm Rob, like, let's just be organic. Rob's and choking people. right now. You guys not want us to go on Tinder because his face is on it. He's like, <laughs> just his eyes. Just Wait, his my eyes. friend and I made a fake one, though, once, and we used her face because she had a boyfriend at the time. And we're kind of immature and inappropriate. No, it isn't. But no, tell we, us. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> like, well, I'm sure, let me think of the funniest one. So we, this guy, like, it, we wrote the weirdest shit in our bio. Right. Like, what are you into? Like, we were pretending we were, ca- well, we are ca- cat ladies. But we were just like, yeah, cats. Like, we just made... <laughs> You're into pussy. Yeah, we're into pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. You know and then is? so this one guy, she, my friend Casey was like, oh, he's like, what are you into? And she just kept bringing up her dad. And he, he's like, so what are you looking for? And she goes, I just really want to F my dad. And he was like, okay. Oh, and the guy Christ. was like, All he right. was like, okay, That's, well. This I'm is our not last sure. podcast ever. It's like a weird turn. <laughs> he's like, I don't know how I can help you. He goes, but maybe we could figure something out. Like, he still wanted to talk to, I guess, we're, us we're, after we're, we said that. Like, that's so fucking that weird. That is crazy, man. Like, that's there, sick. there are some weird people on there. That's sick. That's sickness. Yeah. <laughs> it's sickness. I lost my train of thought. All yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, so. Let's uh, have a moment of silence for her. <laughs> where am I? Yeah. I had back surgery in like seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you broke. Like, you wait, so Michelle just broke up with her boyfriend, right? Yeah. And we're, 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 how'd you meet him? Um, at a bar or something? No, or? through a friend. Um, but he lives kind of like a couple of places. But he's like lives in Vegas and Cali. But he comes to New York sometimes. So What's that's he on the witness protection program. Or is he, um, he, 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 he might. He, he might. He, drive, he drives all the you know. Stuff yeah. Back, you know? yeah. No, he. Uh, yeah, he's he's crazy. Um, he. Got How long did you date? How long? City on, he's on got and off for like live. nine months. On and off for nine, and then yeah. he just it's just uh, it ain't no, working out. No, he's shady. He's, he's he doesn't know when he's coming back to New York. First, he was getting a place here. Now he doesn't know when. Did, we, so. uh, did you mention his name, by the way? No. Shady. Oh, good. No, nah. we'll, we'll, yeah, so I don't want to mention his name. We don't yeah. get sued. I mean, we just started. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he, he's not smart enough to know how to sue though, so he won't. Yeah, he don't know how to get on a podcast. He doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know what a podcast is. Stuff like this. I mean, listen. So, how many girlfriends like that you have? Right, they're 24, yeah. 25, 26 mm-hmm. that are single right now that are just having a hard time going and finding guys because it's it seems like every girl or guy that I meet, like 25, 26, they're all like, Oh man, you know, you know, anybody, you know, anybody. And I'm like three for three with mm-hmm. my buddies, mm-hmm. but I'm like sort of out of that right now, yeah. But it's uh, it just seems like got girls are looking for guys that like will take care of them and and like act like men, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, like if you go look out there and you talk to the guys, they're like. They're like females with penises. Yeah, they are. It's like horrible. Yeah, they don't make yeah. them like they used to. Listen, by yeah. the way, me and my me and my buddy Tony just turned fifty this year. Mm-hmm. They don't make them like they used to, no. man. No, these, they these, don't. These cookie cutter suckers out here, half yeah. of them. Yeah. Tell it like it is, Rob. It's tough, Go ahead. man. It's tough. It's unbelievable. I mean, uh, it's. Uh, right. So where do you go? Where do you go find somebody? I mean, um, where do you- well, I bar ten a couple nights a week. I feel like some. I feel like honestly, like my last couple but before him, like yeah, the last two I met at my bar. So I mean, like girlfriends that go out. Sometimes. I might have somebody for you. Oh, okay, good. Listen, if, if he doesn't, does, does, I do. If, if, a, if, okay. a, if a cute guy is staggering out one yeah. night, like and you just finished bartending, I like you're gonna. 
like put them in your car and take them home? No. Like, no. Care for them? Uh-uh. Oh, I'll no. just be like, yo, you does control that, yourself, so, be a yeah. man, get an Uber, go home. So, Michelle, yeah. does a guy got to be smooth? What, what's, it, what's it take for a guy to he come up to you and at the bar if you're working? Yeah, what are you looking for? What is it? What is it? Um, not overly trying to talk to me because if I'm working, I, I can't really just sit there and talk. Right. So don't be too much. If, if, if I'm working, just let me work. Um, I like that. Tip well. Um, what was yeah. that one? Tip well. Tip but well. Yeah. Oh, no, that's till the end. Don't be but a then, cheap like, ass. Um, you know, like interact. Zoppy's out. Um, but again, like if I keep going up to you, buy me a shot. So <laughs> Frank's out. All right, so so far we got don't be obnoxious. Don't be obnoxious. Well. Don't get too, too drunk, especially if you're trying to ask is a girl the first time. I, I have a question. Is it bad, like, when you go and you get the bill and you get your, like, your iPhone out and, like, you're looking at the computer and, like, trying to find out what 11% is? Like, on the bill. That's, that's not good, right? Um. Are you listening to this? Yeah, Are no, it's not it? that good, but I mean. All right, go ahead. So go ahead. Tip well. I'm Tip sorry. well. Don't be obnoxious. Don't be obnoxious. Right. Don't get too drunk. Don't be flirting with other girls. Like, if you're flirting with other girls, then trying to flirt with me, like, I'm just going to be like, eh. Well, that no, could be mis- that could be misunderstood though. It could be like misunderstood. Like having a good personality and just talking to people. Yeah. And, hey, how you doing? Nice. Yeah, right. Girls get a little jealous, approach, so that, right. you gotta I watch don't get that. Je- je- jealous right? easily. Yeah. Like I, I understand that because like same thing. Like I, I t- I'll be out at a bar talking to guys, but I, so I, I get that. And if if a guy is talking to a girl, you can sense it. You're we're women. We're intuitive. Right. So you have to use your sense of judgment. Is he flirting? Because like this happened to my friend Nikki last week. This guy came in and we thought he was cute and nice. Then he started like he was like touching. Well, he there was touching going on. So he was like, t- I'm like, no. He, if he's c- trying to pick you up, he should be a gentleman. Was he touching and not himself like or was he touching? Uh, yeah. What was he touching? Like, <laughs> no, he was, he was touching. touching the other yeah. girl. Anything that, like, anything that could be touched, he was yeah, touching. Yeah, just put your hands yeah. in the pockets. <laughs> and he, he was grabbing. He was like, ah. <laughs> yes, that's what he was doing. With his tongue out like that and everything? That's <laughs> great. feel <laughs> <laughs> Can I can I just tell you something real quick? I don't want to break this up because this yeah. is good stuff. Uh-huh. But when, when Are you still bartending? On the weekends, a little bit, yeah. The worst, because I bartended for years, mm-hmm. but the worst combination ever in the history of bartending yeah. was Red Bull Vodka. Yes. You know what I mean? Because yes. what happens is you get these people you come in that would normally happen. get drunk and pass out. Now you got an awake drunk yeah. all night. Uh-huh. Talking about obnoxious. Right. Oh, that's so obnoxious. I just, so just want to throw that in there. But anyway, they were hitting on you. Tell us about Tampa that. They were hitting on you, too. Or what? <laughs> Tampa was the first Who was hitting on you? Wait, hold on. Hold on, Rob. Hold on. Who did you get? Did you get hit on from like all different kinds of people? Are you kidding me? I got hit on by men and women. Really? No. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. What would the yeah. guy say? What would the guys like? What was the best line you heard from a guy like, trying to pick you up? <laughs> uh, I don't even remember, bro. I couldn't even tell you. I, Come on, I you remember? You. Yeah, you, you blo- that you would horrify that me. Stuff out, man. I would yeah. never. I, that would hurt me. Like, tell me. Oh my god! All right, let's right go there. back to early. Yeah. Give me a minute to think about it because <laughs> right. I can't. Nothing's right. coming to mind. I'm so from a that's guy. A good idea. Have you ever had a girl hit on you? Yeah, I've had bar? couples hit on me. Couples. Yeah, and I've had a girls too. That's like a girl, girl lesbians. couples or girl like, um, guy, girl like, guy couple. Oh, yeah, a couple threesomes. times. Yeah. yeah, but they usually they left me a note and they're like, "Hey, you're really pretty. We'd hey. love to share." And I was just like, they left it and then they left their number. How about a tip? Um, they tipped good. Really? Yeah, they tipped all like thirty, thirty, yeah, like thirty percent probably. Wow, that's good. Are you into that? Is that something? Are you into that kind of thing? No. Uh, I think she's past the experimental process. She's, pro- she's into it if time. she's into it. I yeah. Like tell right now. A couple mollies, <laughs> I guess. A couple yeah, mollies. Mollies. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> Molly. No? No. I never met her. I don't know who she is. She's cool. She's cool. That's it. You know? Now, what's the drug of choice out there right now? Like, is there, like, uh, Probably cocaine and Adderall. Cool. Not that I. That's what they tell me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Adderall is big. Like I take Adderall every day. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm I. I usually prescribe prescribed it. it. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Cause I'm um. A- yeah. I would say that because I guess it's FDA approved, so people feel safer. But I feel like essentially Adderall and cocaine are. I'm the feeling same left thing. out. I haven't done either. Oh, whoa, like, um, whoa, whoa! Like Hold on a second. They're like the same thing, huh? Yeah. Somebody. They really? are because they're they're just yeah, stimulants. It's a they just you know. Yeah, but Adderall just makes me think like more decisive. Stimulant. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it does. I mean, it's not like. Does it really? I I I have. Is that what it's I up? have. I have. Listen, keep working most, on what the guy said to you. Hey. He was trying to pick you up. All right. Okay, we're not. We're not done with your ass yet. We're coming right back to you. I know, there. I'm still thinking about that. Fudge. Uh. <laughs> So go ahead. So the girl would come up, and, and so the couples you were saying yeah, happens a lot. Yeah, they would come up. A lot of swingers out there. There is, and then like oh, I'm trying to think of this. Florida. Other, there's this one that comes in, but yeah. they kind of hit Florida's on all of us. Land time forgot. Florida, there's a lot of swingers. The what? What? Trapeze. What? What did you just say, Rob? What did you say? Tra- trapeze. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Tell us about this, Rob. No one knows what the fuck you're talking about. I got married when I was playing for the Dolphins. Right. It's off the chain. It's still there. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's a swinger joint? What? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm trying to get... Can someone look it up? Let me have a buffet. Come they have on. a buffet, too. 
I Jesus Christ. I my mother. They have a buffet of food and they have drinks. And so you can go there and get a meatball they parm and yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Michelle, you got to find this place. You got to look it up. I think I know what he's talking on. about. You said it was in Miami. I think I know what you're talking about. Really? Gross. You've been there? Like have you been, to, have you been like, to a swinger place? Nah, oh, a swinger place? Oh, I thought we were talking about a strip club. No. Oh, oh, okay. This I guess we're a whole off. Other level. This is a whole other. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is big. This, yeah. is, back the, the, to this isn't Tootsie's. We're ten. We're or ten. or eleven. Listen, or, if there's yeah. any swingers, we're ten levels above a strip club. <laughs> let's put this out there because I want to learn about this. Yeah. If there's any swingers yeah, out there or this. people with like, you know, like uh, you know, uh, crazy fetishes or kinkiness, and you're listening to the podcast, you know somebody, mm-hmm. you know, get in touch with us and, and, and social media. We'd love to have you on here. I want I want to hear about this stuff. Like I'm, I I don't know anything about I'll, this. Do you want me to co- get that paper that I crumpled up and threw away? And you want me to co- scat, text those people scat- and ask them? Yeah. 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 Will they come on? You think? Probably. Probably. It's a whole other world. Man. Yeah. Hey, hey, whatever there's they some do, crazy tell shit. Them to tape it because we don't want to see it live. <laughs> yeah, there's some crazy yeah. shit out there, man. I don't want to see it or smell it live. It, it, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's really unbelievable. So, Jason, let's get back to you. Oh my God. So, when Steve and Ronnie came up yeah. to you, <laughs> Steven. Steven. Steven and Ronnie. <laughs> Hey, so what they say? Did, I mean, listen, it, and, and that was a big thing. I mean, listen, you're a good-looking dude. You're you like hey. you're on the health. Oh wait, wait. Let, 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 Here we I go. think we talked about this already, didn't we? Talk about this the first handy audition fellow. Yeah. that we were talked about that. Yeah. So so what uh, what, what guys? What was the line? Like, hey, how you doing? Do you like guys? No, what? it wasn't. It wasn't a lie, dude. It was just the fact that you know people would come up to the bar and uh, you know you know I mean Michelle knows how it is. You mm-hmm. get people that come up and, and it's uh, no, no, either, me, and it's me either, and Rob aren't the good looking people either, here at the table. I know guys you know, try, it's, but well, Bob's talking they, about bartending. When you bartend, yeah. but it's either like, a very overt know, thing. It's just really it's either very overt or it's very like you know under the radar kind of thing. Did you? Were you nice to him? Because so you got a better tip. Well, overt like one is uh, let's let's blah, blah, go in the back blah, blah, blah. and fuck. That's kind of overt. Come on, you know. I'm back uh, and I, let me cave your grilling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fudge packer. Hey. Ladies hey, you know what? and gentlemen, I don't. I, listen to each their own, man. But I don't. Uh, I don't have nobody. I ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. You know, right. okay. Michelle. But hey. back to you. Back to yeah. Michelle. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I got nothing for you on so, that. End. So, so that's a I piece. Mean, have you ever dated a guy where, like, all of a sudden you went out there and you were like questioning his manhood, like if he was maybe bi? Uh, um, we- no, because I would never be into a guy like that. That's like the total opposite of like the two kinds of dudes I like. You he's, like, like he's men. more a best you like friend. Men, men. Yeah, I like men, men. I'm like a grizzly man. We got like men, st- men. Listen, yeah, grizzly. There's no chance to be a person, <laughs> be a man, <laughs> man, 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 man. <laughs> Yes. How about we gotta open up a, a you website? Like, you like chest hair? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I like chest hair. Too bad, Stu. <laughs> Too bad, Stu. <laughs> Do I like what? No, you said Grizz. You said yeah, Grizz, Grizz. Grizz. Not, not Grizz. You don't want a guy with hair all over him. That's good. Mm. Well, listen, listen. Mm. Talking about it's all better these, better than not. Yeah. All, you know, we, we had a, we had a, you know, let's have a moment of silence right now for uh, a, a man who was a legend. Hugh Hefner. Yes. Uh, oh. Hugh Hefner passing away today. Yeah. Um, First magazine I never read. Yeah, I mean it was. You guys uh, ever been there? To the no, mansion? I mean, Rob, you ever been to the, the mansion? Or uh, yes, I have. All right, tell us. Let's hear about um, it. I was actually brought there by. Uh, remember Mike Murkow, who worked with, um, uh, with Lee Steinberg back oh, in yeah. the day, and, yeah. and a lot of stuff going on with agents giving well, out money and stuff. <laughs> okay, go ahead, this Rob. This is 1990, bro. This is the, this is Tyson lost to Buster Douglas that same oh, wow. month. Wow, wow. That's going when back. I was out there, I was Damn. visiting agents. That was right before I got. So drafted. you were smooth. You how old were you? <laughs> 21, 21. 21, chilling young out, stud, young going stud. into yeah. the NFL. Yeah. You got it all going on, right? And you you get in, you walk into the the, the, the place. You know they and check you. Know it. They got good security. I went to Syracuse. I had a few girlfriends. Right. So I wasn't like a virgin. <laughs> I hope but one. When I, but when I went Your to palms I, would be really callous. Let me tell you something. Though. Let me tell you something. When I went to the Playboy Mansion, bro. It was like. These things walking around with nothing. Hot on. these things. Point Michelle right now. Hot chicks. Yes. Right. What did you do? Did you were you smooth? I fucking froze up. Excuse Come on. My language. I froze up. Yeah, you can have to excuse your language. You, well, I just kind of. I, I really. Were you like stuttering? I would play. Blah, 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 blah. I would play different now. I'll just put it that way. You'd be smoother. Really? You'd be smoother. How would you, what would you do now? Totally different, huh? How what would you do now? If you were single. I, oh, if, if you were I was single. Yeah. Pss- you would have moonwalked. You would have moonwalked into the place. All of us would be doing something crazy. <laughs> yeah, but hold on. So wait, wait, wait. What, what, how, look, tell me about you. All right, so give us a picture, man. I mean, this is radio. And, nah, know. it was just. So wait, you walked through the gate. Just, there's a Jim Brown was there. 
Was and hat, and was I'm friends. Hat? No, Jim is a Syracuse guy, and he's from Long Island. I know right, Jim. Right, right, right. You know, I know. He's like, yo, Rob, what are yeah. you doing? Yeah. He goes, you ain't doing no drugs. I was like, nah, Jim, I don't do drugs. <laughs> he's like, all right, just as long as you don't do no drugs. Because Jim is not about, not with all that. He's, he's like, old school. Jim yeah, old yeah. School. He's, he, he's he'll, he'll throw a woman out of a window, but he won't do any right, drugs. He's all about sex <laughs> and everything like <laughs> that. Acting, Muslimish. Yeah, he's Muslim. He's, he's no, only Muslim. He was in uh, Magnificent he? Seven. Yeah. Dude, he's a freaking actor. All right. So he's at that. So, so you walk shit. in now. When you see now, when you saw Jim there, did you like get a little? No, nah, like, I didn't relaxed? see him at first. I saw a bunch of crazy. So what did you do? Did you just go over to the corner near the bushes and, and just they, sit there? And they weren't like Jim because they look like I know people that are on something. I could tell. Right. <laughs> like I, I'm a Jersey boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, you're a street guy. It. Street. I can, you know, I could. Uh, I know. The, I know the coke. Unless the there's a lot. Sniffing, uh, unless there's a lot of hot chicks and you clam up like a clam. Dude, I, I did. I did. I hey, swear. Man. First of it all, was... a lot of red-blooded American guys that might be listening to this right now are thinking the same thing. What, what would you do fuck, if you man? walked into the play? This is like the pinnacle. Mm-hmm. It really was. Playboy and magic. I was, I was almost signed like? with them. What does but it at smell the end of like? The day, I, I didn't, but just being in that environment. At that age, did you get a boner? Like I said, I huh? That's, isn't that like a? Wouldn't you I get mean, like walking around an immediate boner? Yeah, a lot of testosterone. Listen, what, was it was it like were they walking around naked and stuff when you were there? Yes, I think a boner Dude, is it unavoidable. Was crazy, <laughs> it was crazy. Right? No, it was, did you feel it, like you it, had it to get was, naked? I was, was that scared. why you were nervous? No, <laughs> I've been naked my whole life. You know that? Yeah, but like I would have just took my shower. I would have just like, I don't, started you running. Know, I don't belly care. flop. I don't Tony, you see me naked more than my wife. You know what I'm saying? Okay, please keep that to ourselves. No, no, anybody anybody listening to this not, podcast, not, please do not repeat any of the information that's on here. Saying, you know, I've been, you know, I've been go ahead, go ahead. My life. But at the end of the day, no, I was just. Did you? For, was how long were you there? For? I was intimidated. How long were you there for? For about three, four hours, man. And I got my drink on too, and I hung out, and I talked to a few people, and I met a few people. But any I, girls I, come I, up to you and say, "Hey, yes, what's up? And dude, what, what, what do you? I don't know, dude. I'm asking you. I was. I, I, I went to the mansion. Are you kidding me? I've been there, but he's offended. I want to know. I want to like. So they, when they came up, did they have tops on? Tell me. Tell us about it. You're the worst storyteller no, ever. No, they they were they were trying to they were trying to say hi, but I just didn't know what to say. I. I <laughs> You forgot the muffin. word hello. Were they all topless? Yes. Are they all hello? topless? Michelle's asking Is it a question. Me you're looking for? I almost felt like I hope Lionel you weren't Richie. Singing. I almost felt That's like Lionel Richie. That's <laughs> all <laughs> <laughs> you know. I almost felt like Lionel Richie in there. But I mean, oh, at the end of right. the day, it was just the whole intimidation. Right, listen, it's, it's hard to be oh, wait, cool hold on. in hold that on. situation. Michelle has a question. Yeah, right. Michelle, ask So were they all like topless and like in thongs? They go. Topless, bottomless. The, all right, the first girl that came like, up to you, what did she look like? Full nude? Faceless. <laughs> what did she look like? What did she look yeah, like the first you... girl to come up? But did she have her top on? Uh, no, none of them. So she did. had her titties first out. Girl, it was this big it was, or little. It was on. <laughs> What's no, that? What perfect. were they? Thirty four B. What were they? No, I don't. I don't know. Uh, all right, but it's all a big blur. She was young and she was perky. She was yeah, perky. <laughs> perky. And you perky. Just, and she, she was said, perky or hey Rob, how are you? Or she said, hey, no, how are you? I doing? think every she guy knows Mike. what that she per- perky she means. Work out. She was like, Mike, how you doing? She goes, oh, this is my man Rob. He goes, he's gonna sign me. She goes, hey, how you doing? And she like shook my hand. And I was she just shook like, your hand. You didn't even give her a hug. I didn't even say hello. I was a kid, man. I was young. Twenty-one is not young, man. And in that environment, younger. it was young for me. Right. Younger. I was, right. I was, I was, you know, did you see you? Bloomer? Did you see maybe, Hugh Hefner? Yeah, maybe I was, maybe I was, you know. Did maybe you go I in the grotto? Bit. Yeah, I saw Hugh. Did you go in the grotto? Did you sure. jump in the pool? No. I want to take, I want to take a black light to that I will put uh, my to toe in that thing and I will my, put my toe in that hot tub, man. No way. A lot of stuff is going on in there. A lot there, of chemicals. Oh, no God. doubt. We're coming out of there with. You know, yeah, I don't make, want. I don't know if I want to go in that crowd. You don't know what they no, were doing. No, I would not want to go in there. And what in was there. Jim? What was Jim? Was he scooping a glass nah, and like drinking Jim it? Was, was he drinking that water? Koufion. Jim had the kufi on and, and the black the hive on his head and the black British night sweatsuit. You remember the one he oh wore everywhere? God. It was a British. He wore it everywhere, Jim. That's like, all he had. No, nah, he had like three of them, four or five of them. <laughs> 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 and he wore them all the time because Art would have him come to Cleveland all the time. Jim was like, like Belichick hired him to come and talk to like myself, Eric Turner, Michael Dean Perry. Yeah, I remember like he used the, to be on the sideline. With his... Yeah, he would like because yeah. Belichick really couldn't like relate to really anything but football. But Jim would come and talk to like, right. like I said, like me, life, life, life lessons. Yeah, um, Michael Dean, myself. You know, I would have lunch with Jim, dinner with Jim, like. 
I mean, you know, this is 92, 93. And Jim would basically, you know, he was... How many hot girls? Belich I think Belichick I was about, paying him off, to be honest with you. We're talking about, I think Belichick was paying him off. We're talking about the Playboy Mansion. He was paying him off. You're transitioning to Belichick. Listen, more, more importantly, Hugh Hefner. When did yeah. you meet Did you meet did Hugh? Meet Hugh? I met Hugh, man. And he's did he have the hat on, the no, captain hat? The thing I love about Hugh, listen, if I could live my life in pajamas... <laughs> You know, no yeah. doubt. Never leave the house. Amen, yeah, brother. That Amen. Would be great. So I could just be like, and those were just any pajamas. I could be, yeah, I could be, I, I could be flatulent through silk all, all all day, every day, and slippers. You know, <laughs> and uh, you know, I could just be like, listen, yeah. hey, this is. This, this is number week. three. This is only this week. <laughs> yeah. Should be out of here next week. All right, guys. He was, so. <laughs> he was the man. That's crazy. Wow, that's what he was hey. doing. That's how he hey. lived. No God doubt. bless him, man. You know what? Ninety-one years old. Nope. Did he? I heard I he have, invented I Viagra. No, I have no. Is that true? He was. He was. You know test, he was that that I, I would not doubt it. Free speech guy. I mean, he was one of the. You know. Of course, it was. Now him. wait. Now a Russian bought like the Playboy. They manager, said right? Hugh Hefner taught Bill Cosby how to how to do what he drug did. girls. No. Come on. <laughs> That's, That's a whole shit. That's a whole other He's dead Come on. Now. He That's, can't sue me. That's a whole other topic. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's dead now. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Listen, do you think that like they're going to bronze, oh, like God. they have a bronze penis of him like somewhere? Like, I, they, they, they should put That's it at the, at the mansion, right? There should be like a, a, a what just what, a, what a, when you go in, you grab like the handle to go into the door. It should be like clunk. It should be his penis. It should be his dick. Yeah. What a life. What a life he led though. I mean, you know what? It sounds great. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but when do you get sick of it after I a mean, while? I mean, come on, man. He, you know? After a while. I don't know if he ever did. Yeah. I can't say that he ever did. I mean, he had yeah. some kids, right? They're like, he had a couple oh, kids. Oh, yeah, he did. He had a couple. Yeah, well, like 12, like, like yeah. an 18-year-old. They're like... His daughter was, ran a show. But, yeah, his daughter runs a show. But let's be honest. Who his didn't daughter want, ran a show. Really? Who didn't want to be Hugh Hefner? Come on. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure I mean, yeah. a lot of guys and now, too. now it's just all. Like, I didn't. I was scared. New generation. Now there's Playboy. You get Playboy magazines with no nude pictures. Yeah, it's like, away. oh yeah, this is going to be a. Well, uh, listen, but now you got a journalist trying to be uh, Maxim. Maxim, yeah. Maxim yeah. Magazine, you know what? Or no, but now, have, now you got no porn. Now shit. you got porn twenty four seven. I mean, it's, it's not all, even yeah. like uh, it doesn't matter though. No, like the Playboy. The Playboy magazine was like a staple. Like every month you waited. I yeah, like you know, the center for the, the beautiful girls. I'll tell you what, jugs. though. They remember had jugs? great. Yeah. Jugs yeah. is pretty good. Yeah, Jugs is good. Who? Yeah. Jugs. Uh, jugs Magazine? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. You knew that one, right, Michelle? Yeah. You remember Jugs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. It was yeah. one of those old school, <laughs> like when you go to like those, like, uh, you know, those jugs. stationary stores and yeah. they have them. Uh. And you go there and, like, try to, like, like it'll be. Yeah. Talking to the microphone, magazines. people can't hear you. Look, you look in the magazines and yeah. then put them up, and then you never buy them. Okay. So how many girls came up to you in, at, at the mansion? How many? Enough. Enough. Five. Enough for me to be scared. I, and I, Ter I were you scared I went or terrified? Home, I went home with Merca. I went home with Mike. Not me. You were nervous. Mike. Really? Yes, I was scared. All right, that's good. Listen, you're admitting it. That's, that's yeah. pretty cool. That's yeah, right. Listen, at the end of the day, you would, it, it if, is. You would, if you had another opportunity to go kids, back, a lot of kids would have taken advantage of it. Me, I was, well, listen, I was intimidated. You experienced some. Most yeah. guys will, you know, I obviously. Dream of, yeah. yeah. Goose, it. what about you? You were there. Yeah, yeah I was there. I was yeah. there for the Halloween party. And? Just went for. I mean, it was it was cool. Everybody was like costumes and stuff like that. There wasn't that many naked <laughs> girls or nothing like that. Everyone was like, you know, tigers and this and that, and then. You, know, you we went like, the wrong weekend. Yeah, I was like, you know, uh, the guy, the, the guy, who was the guy with the red hair? He carrot brain, carrot head? Carrot head. Yeah, carrot, carrot was there. Carrot, carrot top. Carrot you know, yeah, carrot, carrot top. top. Carrot top. He's he's all, a lot of people like all dressed Jack up. Now. It was cool. It was, it was you know, know, but we didn't that. really stay. Then we went to another party um, uh, on the other side, which, which I thought was better. Um, some guy had one at, at this mansion, and uh, I had uh, a couple of buddies, uh, Charlie Pizzi, who, who passed. Um, he, he came and uh, all of a sudden, I'm, yeah, Big Ed was there. And then all of a sudden, the guy, you know, jumps on my back. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Who was the guy that was in the movie The Wrestler? Oh, Mickey, it's, Rourke. Uh, Ricky Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke jumps yeah. on my back and starts screaming goose. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who is Pre this guy? Pre or post Botox. Mickey yeah, Rourke. I was like, it was crazy. I remember and Mickey then, wait, Rourke Jose Canseco was there. Let me remember tell you this. All right, stop. You're ruining my fucking story. <laughs> Sorry. Jose Canseco was there. And he was dressed like in like a bondage outfit, right? And he had a leash on this little, like a younger guy. Oh, my image and is he was totally blown. Walking this now. younger guy around the party. Now, my image is totally blown now. I, mean, I was I, like, I'm what sorry. the story fuck like that about is Rob. this? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. 
Yeah, I, I, I. Wait, are we talking about the same Jose Canseco? Are we talking about the same guy? Jose Canseco. Yeah, the, the baseball Bro. player. Was walking a dude around. That's, yeah. that's the weird. armpit of America. I mean, I don't know if it was like a like supposed to be oh. something like Frankenstein <laughs> or something, but it was fucked up. That's it was fucked up. up. I had to get out of there. <laughs> Hollywood oh isn't God. for me. I'm not really a. Well, I dude, can't uh, Goose, relate. you remember? Holly listen, weird. We, we did a we Goose and I did an episode of Man Cave for it. Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Oh and, my uh, God! Get out. Yeah, yeah, what they, what uh, was he uh, like? I'll tell you one thing about Charlie. Charlie's nuts. Yeah. He's just nuts. Charlie's and you, very smart. I mean, he's smart. Very smart guy. Smart in fact, guy, uh, in fact, he's an encyclopedia of baseball stats. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you that right now. Oh, wow. How about this? You want to hear but, something crazy? But here's the thing. Hold on. Here's right. the thing about Charlie is that he'll give you the shirt off his back. Yeah. And he will go to bat. Who wants for, it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying he'll he'll do it if you don't want it. I'm just saying he'll do it. But he will. Uh, he goes to bat for anybody he knows. I mean, he's that kind of guy that's mm-hmm. uh, kind of like you know, like Goose. I mean, you, you anybody that you know, and and you will go to bat for them 100. percent But he was nuts. I remember him smoking two cigarettes. He had one in each hand, right? He's got two cigarettes going. And Goose looked at him and says, uh, "Dude, you got two cigarettes? Aren't you, aren't you scared you're going to get cancer?" And he goes, "I, I don't believe in cancer." And I'm like, okay. "That's yeah. got to be good." It's then. tiger oh, blood. Yikes. Tiger blood, baby. Oh, it's, it's tiger blood, yeah. man. Exactly. He's uh, smoke four at a time. So but was... I mean, you told me though one night. I said I didn't make it to the party. Goose went to the party. And I saw him the next day, and I said, "Goose, what? How was it, man? How was the party?" And he just looked at me, and he goes, "He just shakes his head, and he goes, I, I, 'I'm not sure.' Yeah, was, <laughs> like what does that mean? People slept. turn into like creatures. I still have slept man, yeah. at night and stuff like that. It's yeah. really, yeah. it's really crazy. But let me tell you something. So Charlie Sheen, let me tell you about this guy. Any any World Series, oh if you mention God. the World Series, he'll tell oh. you who was in it. And if you tell him what game and the inning, he'll tell you pitch for pitch what the guy threw. Yeah. Wow. No doubt. I like, listen, here, uh, who was the second batter up? Uh, it's, uh, Jose Canseco, whatever it was. Uh, all right, what was the uh, uh, first time he was up? What did they do? Uh, it was a fastball. Then he uh, a cur- Then he went slider, slider, and the guy hit a double uh, on, on the fourth pitch. He knows. Wow. I go, oh, you got to be shit. He even knows the stats of the game, dude. That's the, It's that's, unbelievable yeah. he's an encyclopedia. Like, yeah. the dude is a genius when it comes to, like, numbers or something. I'm like, yeah. wow. It was, it was do, really Do you insane. remember our guy, Cherry? Cherry was one of the guys yeah, that worked Cherry. on our crew, and Cherry was there a couple days early you know, at his house because usually what we do, we do a man cave. We show up a little early. We had to do some prep work. So Cherry's there with another guy, and uh, he walks outside to get on his phone because he couldn't hear anybody inside because there's work going on. So he walks outside, and he's in this little uh, – Charlie's house, there's this little uh, courtyard out back where mm-hmm. the pool is, right? But the house is in a U-shape. You remember yeah. this? Yeah. So Cherry's standing outside, and he's talking on his phone, and he hears somebody, and he looks around, and he looks up on the balcony, and there's Charlie in his underwear, just his underwear, hang, standing on the balcony with his hairs all messed up, and he's, he's laughing at Cherry, right? He's pointing at Cherry, and he's on the phone talking to somebody while Cherry's on the phone, and he keeps pointing at Cherry laughing. Yeah. And <laughs> Cherry's looking at him like, and he goes, I got this, and Cher, uh, Charlie's like, I got this motherfucker in my backyard <laughs> fucking shit up, and Charlie's laughing at him. Yeah. And Ch- Char- Cherry's l- telling me, he's like, Charlie's, F- fucking with me right now. I can't get anything done. I'm like, dude, just go back in. Just go back in the house. And he was just, he was cracking up, making fun great. of uh, Jerry. He's just, uh, Jared? what's that? His name is Jerry. Cherry. 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 Or cherry on top. How about this? So I go and um, he has like a little cabana outside. So I go into the bathroom and I'm hanging out, right? Gonna take a piss. I put the seat up. And all of a sudden, like on the wall, there's like these buttons. Goose the deuce. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm taking a piss. All of a sudden, I push the button. Goose the deuce. Goose little, the deuce. little did I know, it was like a, a Toto washlet. It was like a, a bidet. And I pushed the button. A bidet. And this thing like comes out of the back of the toilet and starts spraying me. Like I thought it was a water fountain or something. It was like, oh, I didn't know how to shut oh, it off. Oh, you liked it. You liked it. Annie Sprinkle. I remember that one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, had Tony to Romo. A- Tony Romo's there on uh, Thursday Night Football, huh? Yeah, yep, look at him. Yeah. Yep. He's cute. <laughs> That's a nice little skinny tie he's got on, huh? Stylish. Bears He's-ish. in Green Bay tonight, Thursday night. Oh. You know, what, what do you guys think? Oh, well, I've got to go with the, I gotta go with the uh, Packers, man. I'm going with the Bears, man. Go with the Bears. I like the Bears. Bears are pretty good, man. And I like their running too. game. Yeah. I think they, they, they can they got Rodgers. They got Rodgers, though. Yeah, well, you know what? He's been around for a while. Yep, yep. I Long th- time. He's I been think around. he's the best quarterback if you take a quarterback, but he's got three offensive linemen out. Uh, you got me on that one, but you're he's right got about three starters: Beluga, um, which is uh, the other guy, and his, and the other guard are out. Yeah, so he's, he's got three guys out. Right. He's uh, definitely hurting an average. So respect. he's going to be running. Yeah. So well, take so take the under. Yeah. You like the under, no, no Mike problem. Lennon? You don't like Mike Lennon? They're going to run the ball. They have a good running back. They have a good running team, and they have a really fast defense. Who does? Bears? The Bears do. Yeah. The Bears. 
Yeah. I just don't think they can protect Aaron long enough. Yeah. Really? I'll tell you what, but it's a good thing he can move, though, and mix it up in yeah, there. Yeah, well, listen, you can only move for so That's long. That's true. Bro. That's true. Yeah. They got guys, like, like, they that, guys like me. Ask, they got guys like me that could run quarterbacks down. Ask you know? Michael Vick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. We have one of the fans. Who are you going with? Who are you going with? Green Bay. Green Bay? What's your name? Bob, come on over here real quick, Bob. Come on over here. He's, he's talking in the background. I we thought we're only supposed saying. to have hot chicks yeah, on just the Just give him a mic. <laughs> give him a mic. All right. What, what, was you, what were you saying, Bob? No, I, I said I think Green Bay is going to win because. Why? Why? Well, yeah. I can give you a couple of reasons. One, they're home. Okay. Two, Aaron Rodgers. Nobody can really stop him. That's what three, I'm saying. He, somebody said he wasn't, or, you know. Offensive, offensive line. He's line. missing three linemen. He was a great player at University of California. The coach was terrible, but the team was amazing. Mm-hmm. There you go. All and right. I used to work at ESPN. And so. then after you left, oh. after you left Are you one of the 110 guys who got canned or no? Huh? Are you one of the 120 no, that I, they I, cut? No, I worked on the Dream Job show like 10 years oh, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they and, just wiped um, out a my, lot my of people. My brother works at UCLA. He's the head sports trainer there. Right. And is he the, is he the guy they funnel all the money through or no? Huh? Is that the the guy who gives all the kickbacks. Yeah, he just told, told me tonight hey, he did hey, it. Bob keeps hey. trying. No, he did not. Hey, do you remember Sal Losey, the guy that hit that guy from the uh, – from the, uh, Sal Losey, the guy who hit the, uh, the, the, the gunner for the uh, Dolphins? He was a jet assistant – uh, strength coach. Oh, you're talking about the, they call him the day tripper because he tripped the guy running down the sideline? Yeah. He, he, oh, he's, he went he's, to UCLA he's also, for a while. He's also the guy that Sean Puffy Combs almost hit with a uh, kettlebell. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. And my brother told me, he goes, it was Great. a terrible thing. They had a, they literally threw Combs out of the the, the campus for a while. They, that's awesome. They had to do it, yeah. So, Michelle, so you true. had girls come up to you and, uh, and hit on you yes. at the bar? Hey, Bob, thank you, man. <laughs> Hey, Bob, what thank you, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for the Bob. input. Taking Green Bay yeah. and the under, right? Green Bay and the under? Green Bay. Yeah, I think Green Bay will just take them out. All right, sure. money line on the Green Bay Packers. Uh, All right, thanks. Give Bob a drink on me. Bobby, yeah, Bobby. Bobby. All right, Bobby brother. a drink. All right, All right so uh, well, that's your cheap date, Bob. You're a cheap date. C-53, <laughs> that's Michelle, the dumbest what else man we on earth. Um, <laughs> thank you. What, you mean going back to the bar thing? Yeah, let's, I mean, the, the, Is that yeah, why not? Let's go, let's to, go back. Or do you I, mean, I feel bad. I got a guy over here who's a bartender. I got yeah. a guy. I got a guy. I got a guy. I got, I got a guy here who went to the, to the, to the, to the Playboy. Playboy, Playboy mansion and froze up like an icicle. He got scared. I mean, I'm like, uh, I'm like a lone wolf here. He got scared. <laughs> a lone wolf. Uh, who is that? That is Michelle. That's the one who took your place. How about yeah. Chopper? That's the girl that took your place, buddy. What are you talking about? Who is that? Exactly. Who is yeah. that? Who is that? You don't even know her name. Is her name Tracy something? Yeah, that's her. CBS. It's like it's like we don't see. I, I, listen, I miss you on the sidelines. Oh, Excuse everyone's standing. Oh, yeah. the Whoa. Packers are standing for the national anthem. Hallelujah. I like that. They're arm in arm. Uh, That's I okay. Don't want anybody's arm. Look on at me. that. You know, Tony was my boy, but I still didn't want his arm on me. <laughs> yeah, he grab. Yeah, he wanted me to grab you. I know see, you this know. is a good sign. Oh, I, I like this. This, this is, is a good sign. All right, I'm listen, a good you're sign. united, but you're standing. Did, did right. you see what Aaron tweeted? It was really funny. How about on the other side? How about on the other side? Who's who's this? What did I say earlier? The top. Feel it. The top. Feel it. Fifteen percent have to do something in order to make a difference. I concur, man. I concur. All right. Let's see. Now we're going to Bears. They're standing. Yep. Uh-oh, looks like they got they had a team meeting. Yep. yep. All right. Yep. Everybody's up. Not everybody's throwing away their tickets in Green Bay and, and Chicago. They're, all They're just arms. focused on They're their those game. PSLs cost money. I guess the arm thing is what They're the, chanting uh, USA. Was, Tony the has that same hat. The yeah. arm thing is the compromise Jeez, here. Provolone. Right? They're yeah. standing, but they're but they're. Well, that's a good arms. sign. That's a good sign to go yeah. out on right yeah. now. The Green Bay Packers and and the Chicago right. Bears. It's Thursday night football. They're all standing. From what I can arm see. Arm locked, which is great. I don't see anybody sitting down. Um, and here goes the national anthem by Tyler Farr. And uh, I'm going to stand up, guys. Yeah, let's stand up. Let's have a yeah. stand up. There's no, there's no sound. No, there's <laughs> <laughs> Somebody want to sing it? There's no sound. Yeah, second time, Rob, you hit that thing. The light. Yeah, we're we're all standing right now yeah. for this, but you can't hear it. We lock on. John Fox was my. No, we don't have any singers. Yeah, John Fox she was my defensive coordinator. Lock arms. Oh, there you go, yeah. locking arms. Solidarity. He, he's feeling like he's back at the Playboy Mansion. He wants, a, he wants another try. <laughs> he's scared. <laughs> don't be scared. That's awesome, man. Everybody standing in the whole stadium. That's what we want to see. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Man. Somebody talk to somebody. We got to be united. Yep. A lot of military guys there in Green Bay, too. A lot of people saluting in the stands. Yep. That's awesome, man. 
That's how it should be. This is what we were talking about. You know, we were talking yeah. about earlier about Play what's football. What's got to happen? It's you just... want the fans to come back? All the ones that canceled, you know, uh, Directv and did all the stuff. Mike McCarthy there was another one of my coaches. Oh, thank you. Yes, of course. And uh, that's uh, awesome. That was awesome, man. Yeah. That was great. Great, great stuff. All right. Man. So what? Did, so, so what did? What did there, we? There's a. There's a. There could be. They're a, still uh, singing it. Yeah, there's no. They're doing, <laughs> waving the flag right now. There could be a. There could be light at the end of the tunnel here for the NFL. I, I think thought so. that they were going to go and do this thing, and, no. and everybody was just going to go. It's all about money, Tony. You know we it. talked about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Listen, but sometimes the, these kids. At the don't end understand. of the day, the money is too big, bro. Listen, we it's need we big. need our football, man. Mm-hmm. You know what That's I mean? awesome. This, this is our soccer. Yes. This is our everything. Football. I remember is. this last this last CBA. We talked about. You talked to Ozzy. That yeah. was when I was doing the Ravens radio, and I talked to Ozzy, and I said, Ozzy, we you worried Ozzie about this new CBA? Ozzy knew something he was talking C- about. I, I was like, Ozzy, were, were you worried about this new CBA? He was like, am I worried about it? He goes, no. He goes, these kids have lifestyles that are like tsunamis. So at the end of the day, if you're spending, you know, a couple hundred grand a month, yeah. okay, and all of a sudden. You have to play. Yeah, you have to play. You <laughs> yeah. have to play in order to, to maintain that. That's and, awesome. Uh, it's like a, lot, a lot of these guys were doing it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, they knew, and ownership knew, and the front office knew that these guys weren't like w- we did. Remember when we put that money into the fund yep. for the five for years? The, yeah, yeah, for the five, five years, years for the lawyer fund. We 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 built a war chest, legal, knowing that we were going to have they were going to have to either lock us out or they were going to have to pay us. But these guys, you know, like I said, the top 15% of the roster has to, they have to make a stand. Yeah. He's adamant about this. Everybody else, expendable. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, everybody stood for the national anthem, everybody Thursday stood. night football. Amen. We're over here at Tiffany's on Route 46. It's been a great night. I'm going to go watch this game. And what did what, what, we have first a couple of all, cocktails? What did we learn? What did we learn today at this uh at We this learned uh, don't go if you're not prepared to the Playboy Mansion. Playboy Mansion. <laughs> um, have a couple of cocktails before you go and don't go there with a loaded gun. <clears throat> don't go half cocked uh, either. If you're a guy and you're at Michelle's bar, uh, pay hey. attention to Michelle. Don't not pay attention to her. <laughs> um, and don't be hitting on any other girls because she's watching and she doesn't want you to talk to her because she's working, which I like. Uh-huh. Tip well. I, I heard. And t- uh, if you're out with Jason, um, <laughs> male, female, animal, anything, is, uh, he, he'll, do, you know, he'll talk uh, to anybody. Yeah, I'll listen. And you have an, and you have a chance. I, I mean, heard that uh, to honor Hugh Hefner, every guy's boner in the USA is at half. half yeah, half. it's all half. <laughs> it's all at half. Okay. Two two things. Two things, yeah. Jace. Come the on. The official name of the podcast now is Pod Cave Podcast. Pod Cave Podcast. Ooh. And and you can reach us at podcavepodcast at gmail.com. Pod Cave Podcast. All one word? Sure, yeah. At at gmail.com. Yes. It's probably gonna change again. Okay. But you know, uh, that's, you that's can... a long name. How about just like <laughs> suck it dot com at gmail you know something like that suck it i'm yeah, sure yeah that'd be easier to remember but somebody's podcast using it at podcast. i have a couple cocktails i can't spell that what the hell's the matter with you so we're, we're gonna the next podcast we'll, we'll have a name but uh we're gonna have a a, a a place go on jason or my site he's at the bottom there go on jay what is it jasoncameron.com or something jaycamerononline.com jaycamerononline.com go to pod, hit podcast hit podcast we're on there and uh we're going to be coming out with our own app. By the next time we're up, we're going to be coming with our own app. We'll be all over to Facebook and, and Twitter and all that shit. So just check it but out. But we can't reach anybody. Yeah. You can reach me at editor, at Editor Man Caves, at Twitter, on, on Twitter. Look, look it's it too long, man. It's got to be like MVP. <laughs> it's an easy name, Editor Man Caves. Editor Man Caves. <laughs> My, my emails are open. If, if they can spell editor. Yeah. No, that's the <laughs> problem. Go to jackmeoff.com. It's there, too. And, uh, we tried to get half ass, but somebody me took off. that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Michelle, we'll see you next week. And yes. uh, RB. RB, yeah. RB, buddy. Yeah. Nice job. Way to go. Yeah. Later. Later.